Hello friends, press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more such easy videos. Friends, this is second part of Kingdom Animalia. When we talk about Kingdom Animalia, after discussing the table, the second part is going to talk about the characteristics of Kingdom Animalia. What are the characteristics of all the animals present on the earth? So very first characteristic we can say that they are multicellular. Second, we can say they all are eukaryotic. Third, we can say they all are heterotrophic. All the animals do not have cell wall or chloroplast in them. The stored food material for kingdom animalia or all the animals is glycogen or fat. Vacuoles, mostly they are absent. If present, they are very small in size. They show holozoic mode of nutrition. Now let's understand what these words actually mean. When we talk about multicellular, it simply means they are made up of many cells. Eukaryotic means they have well developed nucleus. When I say heterotrophic means they are dependent on others. They can be herbivores or they can be carnivores or even they can be omnivores. Cell wall and chloroplast are found in plant cell. Glycogen and fat are the reserve food materials. Vacuoles. If present, basically they are absent, but if present they are very small. When you talk about holozoic mode of nutrition, it simply means they take in food by ingestion. Means they first take in the food through mouth and then they digest the food. When we try to classify the animals, we can say that there are two types of animals. One we can say non-caldates and second we can say that is caldates. So, this is, there is a simple diagram. Now, with the help of this diagram, what I am going to do, I will be explaining you the difference or the characteristics between the non chordates and the chordates. So, what are the basic characteristics? When you, we use the word chordates, remember there is a notochord present. In non chordate we can say notochord is absent. When we talk about non chordates let us put in this way the heart if present is on the dorsal side means the part of the body which is facing the sun and when we talk about the chordates the heart is ventral in position means the part of the body which is facing the earth when we talk about the non chordates the central nervous system if present it is ventral in position and in case of chordates when we talk about the nerve cord or the spinal cord cns is dorsal in position in case of non chordates the gill slits are absent when we talk about chordates the gill slits are present when we talk about non chordates we need to understand that the hemoglobin blood if they have hemoglobin it is dissolved in plasma but when we talk about the hemoglobin of chordates they are present in rbc and the most important characteristic of chordates is they have a tail tail is present but in non chordates the tail is absent. Let's do a quick recap so as to understand the distinguished point. So in non chordates notochord is absent. In chordates the notochord is present. In non chordate the heart is present dorsal in position. In case of chordate the heart is ventral in position. When we talk about the gill slits so we need to understand in non chordates the gill slits are absent but in chordates gill slits are present when we talk about non chordates post anal tail absent in chordates the post anal tail is present in case of non chordates the cns is ventral in position that is the central nervous system if they have it is ventral in position when we talk about the Chordates, the central nervous system is dorsal in position. We need to understand one very important thing that the all chordates are vertebrates and the non chordates are invertebrates. First, we need to understand what exactly we mean by the word notochord. So, basically, we can say it is the primitive beginning of the backbone. It is basically a small flexible rod 
which is made from the mesoderm it is cartilaginous skeletal rod which supports it is a cartilaginous skeletal rod supporting the body in the embryo and we need to understand in case of some adults this notochord basically is present throughout now we need to understand exactly what is the structure so what we can say let us take this to be the notochord so the diagram for the notochord somewhat like this all these are basically the cells which i am drawing which means it is a multicellular structure the word noton means back the word cord means string so notochord is basically stiff rod like structure made up of tightly packed vacuolated cells and when we talk about its position so we can say that the notochords they are mid dorsal in position and if the notochord is present then it is called its and they are found in vertebrates but if notochord is absent then we can say they are found in invertebrates from phylum porifera till you can say echinodermata or hemichordata they all are non chordates and after that we have all chordates let's understand the basis of classification once you understood the ideas of classification of animals then it will be very easy for you to understand the various phylum first we will be studying level of organization then we can classify the animals based on the body plan third we have symmetry fourth we have the circulatory system fifth we have germ layer when we talk about the sixth one it is the body cavity seventh one is segmentation eighth one is notochord ninth one is a skeleton ninth one is skeleton and the tenth one is habitat and basic terminology if you understand all these terms and criteria for classification trust me you will understand easily kingdom animalia so let's first understand the level of organization when we talk about level of organization the animals are arranged in different different levels first can be cellular level second it can be tissue level where the cells forms the tissue third it can be organ level and fourth it can be organ system level so let's try and understand cellular level means the animals are made up of only cells the cells do not form tissue example porifera tissue level means all the tissues are formed the cells form tissue example cylindrates but the tissues do not form any organ in organ level organ is formed example is platyhelminthes and organ system level means all the organs come together and they make a well developed organ system now the system can be respiratory system digestive system examples we have annelids mollusks arthropods etc let's understand the next criteria for classification that is the body plan now when i use the body plan it simply means how is the body arranged it means whether it is having one opening or two openings or some other part so we have three different types of body plan that is one is cell aggregate body plan second we have blind sac body plan and third what we have is tube within tube body plan so we need to understand these terms because when you are studying any phylum these terms will come so first we should understand the meaning cell aggregate body plan simply means what cell aggregate all cells come together but they do not form tissue it means it is a cellular level organization there is least division of labor there is no nervous coordination no well developed organs and we need to understand here since there is no nervous coordination each cell works alone and we have only one phylum in it that is phylum porifera and the example that we have is cycon so this is what we should understand for cell aggregate body plan when we talk about the blind sac body plan blind sac means one side closed one side open it means a room with only one opening is a blind sac room all cells come together to form tissue little bit division of labor is there it has only one opening and that opening is going to act as a mouth 
but as well as anus it means it has a mouth but no anus incomplete digestive system and for example for this we have cylindrates so example is hydra jellyfish when we talk about hydra and jellyfish if you take a look very carefully they have only one opening when you talk about tube within tube body plan means all cells together form tissues they have a well developed digestive system they have two openings one is mouth and second is anus one for ingestion another for ejection it shows great division of labor and example in this we have all the chordates or we can say after annelida after annelids all the animals they show tube within tube body plan we have the next one that is symmetry what is symmetry basically if i try to define symmetry it is an imaginary axis or plane which can divide the body of an organism in two equal halves means an axis that we need to imagine and it can divide the animal into two equal half externally not internally based on symmetry we have different groups basically so when i use this word like asymmetry bilateral symmetry or radial symmetry first you should understand the meaning of these terms because once you know the meaning then you can easily understand which phylum shows radial or bilateral or asymmetry when i talk about asymmetry a means without there is no symmetry as such so we can say that the body of organized organism cannot be divided into two equal half from any plane means if i try to pass that imaginary axis from any plane it cannot be divided into two equal half example we have sponges we have snail we have amoeba and to certain extent we have shark also it's asymmetrical when i say bilateral symmetry it means body of organism can be divided into two equal half but from only one plane if you look in the example this dog can be divided into two equal half from only vertical axis so example for bilateral symmetry is man and you can say cockroach or many other animals they show bilateral symmetry when i use the word radial symmetry radial means it's a radii radius body of organism can be divided into into two equal half from more than one axis means that axis will pass through the center of the plane or center of the body and it will divide it into two equal half more than one axis if you look at the example starfish we can say octopus hydra starfish can be divided into two equal half from more than one plane so that is why it is radial symmetry let's understand circulatory system when we talk about circulatory system based on circulatory system there are two major groups of animal one showing open circulatory system and other one showing closed circulatory system what do you mean by the word open or closed when i say open circulatory system it simply means the blood is flowing directly in the tissues not at all in any blood vessel but when i say closed circulatory system it means that the blood is flowing through blood vessels all the non chordates except some shows open circulatory system and all chordates will show closed circulatory system in open the blood is white in color as it has hemolymph except earthworm where the blood is red in color because hemoglobin is dissolved in plasma closed circulatory system we have all chordates blood is red in color and it is hemoglobin friends do give a like if you have understood the videos of kingdom animalia nicely in the next part i will be talking about some more criteria for classification till then this is sunil sir saying goodbye to you keep sharing keep caring stay motivated thank you very much